So I'm Grace Forsyth um, from the blog Living That Free and I wanted to share with you today a story about um, some bad experiences I've had with my allergies. Hi, my name is Rania and I've suffered with a tree nut and peanut allergy for as long as I can remember. So I am allergic to tree nuts and have been since the age of two um, and so I've lived all my life with it. Um, I think a part of the allergy that's not explored enough is the mental health side of it, the anxiety that can come with eating something that you don't know is safe. I remember at the age of 12, I had an anaphylactic shock after eating out and because of that, I pretty much avoided restaurants for a good six years and it's only recently that I've actually started eating out more and enjoying eating out more. And because of that, I've created an Instagram account called Believe It or Nut, where I just share restaurants which are more hospitable to people who have allergies and who just generally have procedures in place if you walk in and tell them that you have an allergy. And so when I blog, I'm, I'm talking about my own recipes, so how to cook safely at home, but equally how to eat out safely. Um, and in doing that, you've always got the negative stories too. So I wanted to share a small one. I was uh, at a vegan sushi restaurant the other day with a group of friends, um, and I informed the, the waiter as soon as I came into the restaurant of my allergies. And unfortunately, after three tries at making my meal every single time, there were nuts in it. Um, first of all, the nuts were sprinkled on top, then they just tried to kind of brush them off um, and did that three times and told me, you know what, we can't help you here. Um, at that point, I'd already had three drinks. All my friends were there. We weren't moving anywhere. They'd had their meals. Um, so unfortunately, I had to sit there without anything to eat, um, feeling really, bad about it, feeling awkward, uh, to be the, the awkward person in the group, creating problems. Um, not only that, but they, they kind of said, okay, we'll, we'll remove it from your bill, but never did, so I had to bring it up again. Um, and I just think these, these things are important to talk about because we do have negative experiences with it, as well as the positive ones, but the negative ones really can kind of put a weight on your shoulders and kind of take the trust away from society and, and eating out, which I think is a shame because that should not be a right that's taken away from you. So um, I wanted to share my story. I also want to make it positive. There are great restaurants out there to help, um, but you have to trust your instincts, be safe, don't be scared to speak up and speak to the waiter if you don't think your food is safe. Um, and yeah, and, and bear in mind that this this is an anxiety and that's okay and we should treat it more that way and we should pay more attention to the mental health side of allergies and explore ways to help each other as a community as well. Nonetheless, I've been asked to share some of my worst experiences with um, dealing with restaurants while having a nut allergy and I do have quite a few to share. So the first one, as I've already mentioned, was when I was quite young and I'd ordered a curry and I did tell the service that I had a nut allergy and they'd assured me that there were no nuts in the dish. However, there was peanut oil used and because of that, I ended up having an anaphylactic shock and I ended up in the emergency room that night having to stay for a week and go back and forth for a couple of weeks after that because the reaction was so bad. Um, in that case, it was just a complete lack of knowledge and just complete lack of awareness with what was in the dish and just the servers not knowing what they were actually selling their customers. Um, I've had other quite bad um, instances. Um, one that comes to mind is when I'd ordered a salad and told the people um, working there that I had an allergy and they were meant to share this with the chef and I'm not sure if they did or didn't but nonetheless I got a salad with walnut bread placed on top and that terrified me because I would rarely eat out and the few times that I did just never worked out for me. So I sent back the salad and they did bring it back again, but I could tell they'd only removed the bread and hadn't prepared a whole new salad. And despite telling them this and asking them to take it back again, they just didn't understand. And that again just shows a lack of awareness of cross-contamination and just the fact that there was no procedure in place for when someone actually told the waiter or waitress that they had a nut allergy or any allergy in general. Um, other instances I've had are when restaurants just are so unaware of what nut allergy is and don't really know the differences between tree nuts, peanuts and seeds and oftentimes when I say I have a nut allergy I often get the question, oh but can you eat seeds? And Or saying things like, oh we have gluten-free options, we have vegan options but 
they're just taking a group of people with eating needs and putting them all into one section and hoping that they can all eat the same thing, which is never the case. So in that case, it's also just complete lack of knowledge with knowing that there are so many different allergies with so many different specific allergens that affect different people and just grouping them all into one mass. Um, so there have been restaurants where I've seen menus that have mixed up seeds and nuts and have marked dishes which have nuts in when they don't have nuts in or have seeds in when they have nuts in and not seeds in. So it can get quite confusing and if you are sat in a restaurant where the menu itself looks confusing and doesn't put you at ease, then you're most likely not going to want to order anything from it. Um, I've had another instance where a waitress has pretty much tried to convince me that there were no nuts in the kitchen and no nuts in any of the dishes, even though the menu made it very clear that many dishes did contain nuts. And just the fact that the waitress was so unaware of this made me feel very, very uneasy. And just, I ended up ordering nothing at that restaurant because I had no faith that any communication would be made of my nut allergy. Um, I think in general, the worst thing about eating out at a restaurant is just the fact that you will seldom be guaranteed that your dish is nut free. Even if you order the most plain thing possible, like bread and butter, they will always say that there's going to be a risk of cross contamination and that's just something you have to accept. And if you want to eat out, that's just something you have to do. And I think nowadays socializing centers so much around food and having dinner with friends and family. So it's quite difficult for you not to put yourself in those situations unless you want you know, to miss out on these events with your um, with friends and family. So just the fact that you never get a guarantee just makes you feel very anxious and very nervous from eating out because you're constantly thinking that while you're eating it can potentially cause an allergic reaction. And it's taken me so long to be able to go to a restaurant and not have a panic attack over the food I'm eating or just constantly think that I'm waiting for a reaction to come out. Um, so yeah, basically the fact that they don't guarantee anything can be nut free is very problematic. I've actually only been to one restaurant where they have guaranteed that my meal would be nut free, but that has genuinely only happened to me once in my life. Um, so yeah, those are some of my bad experiences with eating out and why I just think that more restaurants have to become more friendly and have more procedures in place when people with allergens walk through their doors. My name is Bethan, otherwise known as the No Nuts Vegan on Instagram. Eating out with an allergy can be incredibly difficult. Often restaurant staff really underestimate the severity of my allergy. Hi, I'm James and I have a severe nut allergy. Um, the Probably the worst experience so far in terms of restaurants dealing with allergies um, was quite a while ago. It was probably when I was about 10 years old. One of the worst experiences that I've had was going to a restaurant a few years ago. Um, I, was, I ordered a main and I said that I had a severe nut allergy. Um, the main was fine, however when dessert came I thought I'd ordered a vanilla ice cream and it came as a, as a green looking ice cream. I was about to take the first spoonful and my mum shouted no and we found out it was pistachio ice cream. This could have been a potentially life-threatening situation and it's why I firmly believe that all restaurants should be allergy aware and we went in for a meal and asked the waiter about the desserts. I wanted a couple of balls of ice cream, some vanilla ice cream, which sounds ridiculous, but it can have traces of nuts in. Um, and for me, because it's a serious allergy, obviously that could trigger an anaphylactic attack. So um, we asked about the, the nuts and he responded with, uh, it's just ice cream. It's simple, it's just cream, it's just vanilla, it's just sugar, uh, so you'll be fine. At which point we responded with, well, it's actually more serious than that, I could die. And he said, well, it will be fine, trust me. Uh, that's probably so far the worst experience I've had. Um, on the whole, the restaurant um, industry in the UK is fairly good. There have been lots of, you'll be fine, or it's fine, or I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, you know, from, from an allergy perspective, it's much better, um, or feels much safer for a waiter, even if they're 
realistically 99.9% .9 sure that it's nut free to go off and tell the kitchen and to tell the chefs they can wash their hands, they can make sure there's no cross contamination. Um, so, so far, I would say that's the worst experience yet.